how would a Labour government get access to the single market without being in it? By negotiating. We need a negotiation with Brussels okay, but... that will allow us access, uh, uh, frictionless access yeah. to the market. But then that's the same as the government's yeah. position. That's what the Prime no, no, Minister no, but, says. But, 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 Peter, you know better than anyone, the government at the moment are negotiating between themselves. They're not negotiating oh, I know that. with Brussels. Oh, no, that, that's They're true. in a mess. No, that's true, Len, but I'm sorry, I've got to press you on this. There is a negotiation to be had between a Labour government and the EU27 about the terms on which we would leave the European Union but still have some economic advantage, you know, within the single market. But the only way we're going to get a proper negotiation with them is if we start from a position of being in the single market and then negotiating no, Peter, the terms, Peter, not I, by being outside it. Peter, I disagree with you fundamentally. We can get tariff-free access to the single market and a customs union as opposed to the I customs union. I want to pick up. Yeah. Sure. There's a very important point here. You've said tariff-free for goods. What about uh, services that represent 86% of our economy? And, That's nothing uh, to do with tariffs. No, the reality <laughs> is it's about a negotiation. What happened here? And remember, we're nearly two years on from the referendum vote. What happened here is that the Prime Minister and the government set the wrong tone.